heaven where one, one tent in heaven is 60 miles high made of pearls and we struggle for 3,000 square feet and we toil for 30 years to get 3,000 square feet where one tree in heaven a horse races for a hundred years and cannot cross the trunk of this tree where the length of one bow in heaven where the span of one bow in heaven is worth more than everything that the sun rises upon and sets. And where are our eyes setting? What are our eyes yearning for? What is our, our heart setting for? Where one span of a bow in heaven is worth more than everything the sun rises and sets upon. Where the last person to enter heaven God tells him, Allah tells him, you have the world and 10 times the entire world. And he says, Atashkharu bi wa anta al-malik. He says, you have this world times 10. And the man is shocked. He says, are, are you joking? And you are the king. And our Prophet Sallallahu smiled until his molar teeth showed. And that's the last person to enter heaven. Where in heaven, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tamanna, Tamanna, wish, wish, wish for whatever you want. And then after he, you're done wishing, he says, Hal tamannayt, did you wish? And then he says, yes, I wish. And then Allah says, you get all your wishes and even more. Where Allah asks us in heaven, Hal radhitum, Hal radhitum. Are you satisfied? Allah asks us, who are we? Who are we that we get all this? Imagine, imagine a kindergartner's competition and you say, whoever colors this picture the best, I'm going to give him $2 billion. We have to be patient for a few years and then we get Jannah. We have to be patient for a few years, obey for a few years, avoid the prohibitions for a few years, be good to people, forgive people, and then we get heaven forever where there is no worry, there is no stress, where there is no fear, no anxiety, there is no hatred, there is no sickness. There is no separation. Then why are we why are we in love with this dunya?